Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello Pharma Aspirants, welcome or welcome back to GDC channel. In this video, we will learn about the mechanism of actions of anti-tubercular drugs. So, the anti-tubercular drugs are used in the treatment of tuberculosis which is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. Two lines that is first line and second line of drugs are used in treatment of tuberculosis. First line drugs means drugs having high anti-tubercular efficacy as well as low toxicity. These drugs have high anti-tubercular efficacy and low toxicity. The mnemonic to remember first line drug is Cyper or you could remember this by Paris but a slight change in the spelling of Paris is not P-A-R-I-S but P-E-R-I-S S for Streptomycin I for Isoniazid P for Pyrazinamide E for Ethambutol and R for Repapsy there are five drugs in first line. First one is isoniazid. So the mechanism of isoniazid is inhibiting the synthesis of mycolic acid. It inhibits synthesis of mycolic acid. Inhibit the synthesis of mycolic acid. Acid. This is the mechanism of action of isoniazid. Isoniazid is also written as INH. It helps in inhibiting the synthesis of mycolic acid, which is the important component of mycobacterium cell wall. Mycobacterial cell wall. Mycolic acid is important component of mycobacterial cell wall and is inhibited by INH that is isoniazid. Next drug is rifampicin. This rifampicin inhibits the DNA dependent RNA polymerase. I'm just indicating the mode of action by these arrows and I am not writing the full sentence. This rifampicin, also known as rifampin, inhibits the enzyme DNA dependent DNA dependent RNA polymerase. DNA dependent RNA polymerase and blocks its polymerization function and blocks polymerization function polymerization function is blocked by rifampicin This drug rifampicin inhibits the DNA dependent RNA polymerase synthesis by inhibiting the RNA polymerase. Next drug is pyrazinamide. This pyrazinamide inhibits the synthesis of mycolic acid. Inhibits synthesis of mycolic acid. This drug converts the converts this pyrazinamide is converted into pyrazinoic acid. Pyrazinoic acid. This is converted into converted. This drug is converted into pyrazinoic acid, which gets accumulated in the acidic medium. 
this get accumulated in the acidic medium and then when it is accumulated it inhibits the synthesis of bacterial mycolic acid next drug is ethambutol this ethambutol inhibits the this ethambutol inhibits incorporation this inhibits the incorporation of mycolic acid into the bacterial cell wall into bacterial cell wall by inhibiting arbinosyl transferase arbinosyl transferase so the mechanism of action of ethambutol is inhibiting the enzyme arabinosyl transferase and when this arabinosyl transferase is inhibited the addition of mycolic acid into the cell wall is automatically inhibited leading to the cell death ethambutol inhibits the arabinosyl transferase which is involved in the arabinol arabinogalactan synthesis thereby interfering with the mycolic acid incorporation into the mycobacterial cell wall next drug is streptomycin this is a amino glycoside this is a amino glycoside and acts by inhibiting the bacterial protein synthesis acts by inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis that's were about the first line drugs next is the second line drugs of anti tubercular second line drugs are the drugs which have low anti tubercular efficacy low anti tubercular efficacy but high toxicity the mnemonic to remember second line drugs is t ka cup cycle per t ka cup cycle per t e a means thiazolazone ethionamide amikacin k for canamycin c for capriomycin again c for cyclosidine and p for para amino salicylic acid let's move towards the mechanism of action so the mechanism of action of cyclosidine and terizidone is that it inhibits the synthesis of bacterial cell wall again inhibiting the synthesis of inhibiting the synthesis of bacterial cell wall by competing with by competing with d alanine and preventing its incorporation preventing its incorporation into the mucopeptide into mucopeptide the mechanism of action of cyclosidine and terizidone is that it inhibits the synthesis of bacterial cell wall by competing with 
D-alanine and prevent its incorporation into mucopeptide. Next drug is canamycin and capriomycin. These drug acts by inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis. Acts by inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis. Next is ethionamide and prothionamide. This drug inhibits some mycolic acid synthesis. Mycolic acid synthesis is inhibited in the bacteria. Paraminosalicyclic acid abbreviated as PAS. This drug inhibits the folate synthetase. This drug inhibits folate synthetase. And inhibits folic acid synthesis. in the bacteria. Rifabutin, it inhibits the DNA dependent RNA polymerase and blocking the polymerization function. This rifabutin inhibits the this inhibits the DNA dependent DNA dependent dependent RNA polymerase and blocking its polymerization blocking its polymerization function That's all for the mechanism of action of anti-tubercular drugs. Thank you for watching this video.